Guys, who do you know that rocks Sean John, Sheen Jean better than me? The answer is nobody. Dude, I can sing. Anyways, what's up, what's going on guys? Today we have a brand new trip to the thrift and I have a TV tray with all type of items and accessories. You got nasal swabs right here. You have little scientific eye droppers. And then of course you have the test. That is right, dude. As my Christmas present, I was gifted a nice um, Omarion variant strain from my girl's mass denying auntie. Hold on, one time for one time. Shout out Omarion one time. But yes, man, after 10 days of quarantine throughout this new year, no thrifting, no sifting, no digging, I am negative. My guys! I'm not even kidding though, it was horrendous. I had the worst headache of me life. I could not sleep at night. It was it was just tragic, honestly. Then I was good, but I just couldn't hit these trenches, man. I started tweaking, so now I am glad to be back in the thrifts. But before we go to the first store, someone left on my last trip to the thrift video this comment. It was a uh, don't care or don care. He said, hey, Paul, as always, enjoy every vid from you. Can you do your top 10 finds for 2021? I'm not gonna, 21. 21. I'm not gonna make a whole video about that, but I'll just show y'all right now what uh, I, I think my top 10 finds are. All right, so I just laid out everything, and uh, yeah, I have a little bit more than 10 items, I would say, because hands down, my best day thrifting of this entire year was when I found all those hot rod tees. That was just crazy that there were so many items, and then in my last video, the like, Boston Celtics gear was was nutty. So speaking of which, the first item that I have in my top 10 of 2021 was this Larry Legend Salem Sportswear tee. I literally just picked it up. It might be recency bias, but I really like that shirt. The graphic is amazing. It even has them on the dream team. It gets no better. Now I found this crazy San Francisco 49ers jacket. If you guys follow me on Instagram at Mr. Paul Can too, then y'all saw me, dude. I hit this lady's like house, bro. I was leaving a state sale. I see a tent just popped up in her driveway and a couple crazy looking jackets were hanging down. I saw Phoenix Suns one, but then she had this on a rack, tried to charge me 20 bucks. I said, hell to the no, I'll take it for 10. And she did make the deal with me. Starter that goes harder, it's all gold. Now one time for the hometown, you have the Corvettes of Houston t-shirt right here. So a lot of these items I just view as my favorite because I, I rock them a lot. And this is really cool coating Corvette, 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 gets no better. And then I love any fan animation jacket. Not really a fan of the bangles like that, but a big tiger on the back, it gets no more enticing. Now y'all see me rock this Budweiser piece. I actually did find this in a trip to the thrift. It didn't make the final cut of footage though, just because that video was so long in and of itself. But a worker actually set this to the side. So I asked the manager, I was like, hey, is, is that for sale? Then he asked the worker and the worker was like, yeah, I don't, I don't actually want it, it doesn't fit me. So he did bless me somewhat with this Budweiser King of Beers leather jacket. Someone said I need to moisten its leather because the sleeves do look hella dry, bruh. This is looking like a desert reptilian on the sleeves. But either way, King of Beers on the front, it is an 80s jacket, Louisville Slugger brand, so that's very cool. And then these items. Man, the Houston Oilers, my size, my guys, full kids tracksuit. Obviously, when I procreate and have my child, he is going to be rocking this, or she. Houston Oilers jersey and pants as well. I had this combo as a kid. That's why it is my favorite. And then I got two crazy vintage snapbacks this year. Of course, a Buccaneer shark tooth in the nice little like sherbet color scheme. Nice creamsicle. And then the Houston pocket rocket script that fits like a glove, like a dream. I needed this super hard. So two hats right there. Shout out Paul Plan too. And then y'all might be like, that's one, two, three, four five six seven eight nine that's only nine items so where is the tenth daddy it's on thigh so these have to be some of my favorite pants that i've ever found dude they're like cut and sew corduroy patchwork pants in like a unique pink navy violet color hella colors and I finally washed all my laundry during my quarantine, and then I found my Sean John tee that matches this like perfectly. It has the browns, navies, reds, browns, navies, reds. I think I'm fitted. Thanks for making it through my top 10 finds of 2021. Uh, but yeah, and also thank all you guys who do shop on the website, Thrift Time Vintage. Everything y'all see in this video will be available on the website. So if y'all see something you want, link in description. Let's go. All right, guys, we have 
arriveth. That's a word at the Salvation Army, man. Let's get in here and fingers crossed, we'll find just a little bit of sauce. It's too, too much sauce. All right, my brethren, we're back live at my home away from home. And guys, I only found three things, but this is the most giant couch ever. Like you could be cheeked up and comfortably sit on this couch. Seriously, pillows don't even look normal on this extra large couch. But again, three finds, all three of them. And we got them right here, starting with the banger. Single Stiach. Dude, red like a cherry on top of a delicious day of thrifting. Mancuso, H-Town, Texas. It is H-Town, Texas, Braveswood, baby. I love that hometown heat, and we got it right here. So the back is all right, but dude, the frontal is popping. Only three dollars. You got the Eagle, the beautiful Cobalt Royal Blue Harley Davidson, my closet, nothing but Harley. Y'all know what it is. And then uh, we also have a little 2003 banger right here. This is when the Buccaneers defeated the, the uh, Oakland Riders in Super Bowl 30. What is that six? No, nah, it's 37. Seven. Guys, another tree dollar banger. And then I found that Mac Tools. Return of the Mac. Rolling Thunder. Yes, sir. Got the big 18 wheeler all chromed out. This is pretty cool. New school. But again, I still dig it. So this is just a little warm up session, something to moisten the loins, you dig. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with this Harley tee. This might be a personal, man. I don't have too many red t-shirts. Dang. And we warm it up, man. Nice little small sack. Ah, something to just tickle the taste buds. Now we're about to fully go in and find some more heat. Let's get it. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the day I die. All right, man, we've arrived at the next spot, the Family Thrift Center. Hey, I also am doing a pop-up January 15th in Dallas, Texas, DFW. All the info is down below. So probably a few of the items I'll have at the pop-up. But again, most of the things I find, thriftheadvantage.com, link in the description. Let's get in here. All right, guys, we're live in the trenches. And it's always reassuring to know that in 2022, the thrifts are still smoking wiener. Check this out. Guys, Thomas for your mamas. Right, broccoli green color scheme. What is the price? $40. Are you joking me? What? For a hoodie with the zipper. Personal foul. Personal foul. Tripping. Oh man, dude, this store's really off of me. Wait a minute. 2022, 15 for some jerseys. These fools are tripping. Tripping. All right, man, this is what I'm talking about. We have some tings. Dude, we have hella red gear. I guess we'll start off here, man. It says a bird is a bird, a fish is a fish, a dog is a person. What? All embroidered crew neck. Where my dog mom's at, but also this is offensive to any parakeet owners, anyone who owns a beta fish, an aquarium. Come on, man. All animals are people. All right, dude, you all have this little Nike Ohio State. I see this money through my Buckeyes. Dude, 15? Oh, they're trifling. Cincinnati Bearcats, I'm sorry what happened. Joe College brand, look at the little dangleberry, $4. And then look, on close inspection, this boring piece reveals something unique. Hawaiian punch, dude, all embroidered, chillaxing, sipping on that sauce. That's nice. And then speaking of like tropical vibes, man, you got that sandy beach color scheme amidst a nice ocean backdrop. Dude, the Reebok teched out Rams piece. Look at that little Velcro clasp. And then look at the patch on the back and the fell insignia. This is a hard Rams piece. It doesn't say St. Louis, anything of that nature. The dual wheeled Rams. Come on, man. I got to get all these dudes. I'm truly blessed, man. This is why I come out to the thrifts to find nice art amidst garments. You crock my world. Custom crew neck. $10? Jesus Christ. I wish I might. I can't help it, man. All I see is finesse. I can't go one day without finesse. All right, I'm seriously starting to think if people who come to this store are allergic to the color red because here's another red piece. All embroidered Cardinals baseball. Very cool. Tree bucks. Why schnot? Oh, guys, this is perfect. My size. You have that nice ocean camo. I'm going to have a bunch of custom made planners at the next pop up in Dallas, Texas. So uh, y'all stay tuned. I'm in the process of making a ton and these Air Maxes definitely qualify. All right, guys, we're up out of there. Ain't no but a gangster party. Okay, I got a few things, man. Nothing too wild, but I'm excited to make some more planters. And I got some cool Nike pieces, some jackets, crew necks, a little slight work, 
But uh, let's get to some more fire attire today. No more love on the run. And here we go, man. Next spot, Family Thrift Outlet, Hillcroft. Everything starts at two bucks. In the first find, my guys, live in the plug. Got the Toronto Blow Jays majestic mascot, Carlos Delgado. Italicized font, all embroidered jersey. So nice. Oh, yes. This is why I come to the thrift, man. For that hog. <laughs> In more ways than one. You have the Harley crew neck right here. Very cool. Got the lightning. Got the nice uh, engine right there. Yes, sir. 1998. And then the Reebok Vintage Arkansas Razorbacks. Hey, then you got the twofer. Check it out, man. Mark Martin. Dude, two is always better than one. Look at this all over print. This all is on a screen printed frame, but this is insane flame. Red, white, and blue, that triple A. Hey, never be abandoned on the roadside. Yeah, dig. And then you have another, another one. one. This was like when he was sponsored by Viagra or something. Um, very, very nice. Get it up, 2005. Okay, we got the pocket tees all embroidered to Sylvester Tweedy. Then you have Pluto and Mickey with the embroidered paw prints. And it appears the, the wiener done slipped out the buns. That ever happens to you guys, man? You got some mustard stains on the frame. Mm-mm. Dirty. Okay, I need someone to make this shirt make sense. Aren't frogs amphibious already? Why would they need a scuba tank? Like, I, I maybe for the brand, but... Dude, this, this makes no sense. Getting a little obscure now. Oh, my lord. 2022 blessings, baby. Blessings, baby. Yes. Dude, check this banger out. All over print. NFL on Fox. Dallas Cowboys. Shout out Troy Aikman, man. One of the biggest low-key Dallas haters for no reason. I guess he's just trying to like prove his bias to the max. But he always is on the games with the legend Joe Buck. That's a disgusting act. That is a disgusting act by Randy Moss. They don't make them like they used to, daddy. Quality embroidery. That little cheese head, cheese spread, yellow colorway, pro player. My God. Hey, two is better than one. You got the whole pack. The Brett Favre jersey, too? You kidding me? Number four. What is this jacket, though? Oh, balling like Spalding? Really, really clean cut and so action happening, Captain. Hails to the y'all. I really despise Oklahoma. But this shirt is hard, I'm not gonna lie. The drop shadow is crispy, the stripes are nice. Dude, the screen printing and it's single stay hunch. I'll get it from one of y'all, okay. Dude, the banging single stitch graphics is literally just slap and came out of nowhere. You got the Phoenix Goyotes vintage power play tee, Arizona lottery sponsored, flawless. Dude, full thrift fits? You kidding me? Guys, look at this, man. First layer, Native American wolves, owls, one with the earth. Very cool. And then layer it with this banging denim jacket with the coating sleeves. Are you joking me, man? Grape denim flavors, so nice. Okay, guys, we're about to head out, man. Last tree finds, World Cup goals, boy. Got the vintage World Cup, kind of acid washed veil sweater. This is random. Is it like the World Cup of skiing? I'm just going to make it make sense with the soccer thematics because you have a Ronaldo jersey as well that is conveniently missing the Jeep ad. This is absolutely dirty. I'm going to leave it, but um, attitude is everything, and I'm just grateful and thankful, man. Another day in the thrifts. Thanks for joining me. We're not done yet, though. Let's get on to the next. You're the meaning in my life. Okay guys, we're in this thing, man. In the my size section, obviously all these things fit me, but I found three things in this entire store, and the first of which is that shuttle sauce. This looks like an alternate Barcelona jersey. It is the Apex Vintage Windbreaker, all primary colors, Apex embroidered, size medium, and it has the same logo on the back. This jacket is crazy. Only four bucks. Then for $10, you have this nice 80s multicolor essential jacket right here. I love the cut and sew, the piping underneath, the pocket lining. And then you have the Man U Adidas track jacket. Man, these are tree absolute beauts. Dude, they just brought out a rack from around yonder. And I found one more thing. Obviously, Carolina Blue on the Tar Heel Jordan brand. $5. Michael Jordan, all embroidered collegiate. Dang. 
Yeah. All right, guys, we're about to skedaddle on to another one, but I had to highlight this dead stock 90s relic. He got the brush popper. Bro, we ain't no pill poppers. We brush poppers. Originally $30. Um, they're selling it for 13 half off dead stock. I don't know, man. That's still kind of high, but this is fly. God bless whoever gets this once they reduce the price. This is a nice little piece. Hey, but the last two things we got in here were both in the button up department. Luckily, only $6 a pop. Tommy, for your mommy. Dijon mustard, cut and sew sailing flag on the back. And then the Fila cut and sew button up. It gets no better. Let's grab them. All right, that's what's up. I just stopped by a store I normally don't go to, and it paid off, man. Got a bunch of things. I got three more pairs of shoes to turn this into some planters. To turn this into some planters. <laughs> Today, Junior. Anyways, man, that store hit. Let's go on to one last spot to end the day. All right, guys, we're in the last spot of the day, and we got some vintage deliciousness in the form of crewnecks, all embroidered, and you got Hard Rock Chicago. My lord, this is making me hard as a rock. <laughs> Uh-oh, guys, it looks like someone used the NHL jersey as makeshift toilet paper during the shortage, man. You got booty stains on the shoulder. How does that even happen? But this piece is still pretty darn clean. I'm a nab. All right, guys, I'm gonna get a copyright strike. The music is banging, but so are the fines. All single stitch vintage tees. Marlboro Unlimited. Got the lizard crawling on the spinal column. Got the physical therapy single stitch tee. The Ireland Guinness soccer tee. That Toucan Can too has the perfect balance on a schnout. And then the 96 Sturges with the eagle looking lethal. And 95 Detroit Harley, baby. Guys, I finally got one for the personal collection. Y'all know I love me some shocker. Dude, goal F. Dude, $200 jersey, vintage Adidas, Team USA. Unfortunately, it does have stains in the stars, but I don't even care. This goes hard, and I am going to personally rock this banger. Alexi Lawless status, bruh. Bro, the Predators jersey by Adidas? Oh, man. There's some hard old school soccer pieces up in here. Dude, it has been a soccer kind of day. You got Taz sweating. Patamali, I'm sweating. Single stitch on the anvil and it's double sided. So I'm excited, bro. <laughs> this isn't even his backside. This is just like his goal celebration. This is so, so clean, dude. Hell yeah. By golly, we got one, man. University of Kentucky. Wildcats starter that goes harder. Look at that dude's eyes looking like Granny Smith apples. Dude, I'm a star boy with the jewelry. Slight spaghetti sauce. This is hard. Oh, I love this. That FFA. There's nothing I like more than going elbow deep in a mother freaking cow. Woo hoo! You got that central La Forti. Oh, that sounds Louisianian right there, boy. Look at this, man. Curtis Blow. And it is corduroy like my ponce. Hold on. Vintage confirmed dry clean only size schmall. Y'all, someone will grab one of these, man. These things actually go for bread. This piece is too unbelievable. Big Edge Magical Muffin. <laughs> I can't tell if that got weed in it or if that's like his girl's nickname. Either way, nice. This fool's creepy. It looks like Big Ed's dog, man. Dude. It's like you wear cool pants, you find cool pants. They got the Carhartt double knees in the khaki colorway. Dang, this person had that hammer. What are the odds that not one, but two pairs of pants had holes in the crotch? They had that sharp dick, boy. What? You got three pairs with dick holes. All right, guys, we got two grails. Well, really one grail, one piece that's all right. You got the bum equipment. Oh, we got that bum cut off sleeve. That's kind of hard, 1993. But then you have this 100% wool Pendleton. Unfortunately, this isn't a made in USA rendition, but this jacket is so hard. Oh my God. What do you call that? Like a Navajo print? Holy tits. Let's go, man. Let's go. Dude, this store is flossing collegiately. Texas A&M all embroidered in the Ohio State Buckeyes all embroidered center check with the red little shoulder hits. Damn. All right, this is a very Tampa Bay Buccaneers color scheme-esque. Looking like Antonio Brown's lonely uniform on the side line. 
Nike, made in the Philippines. Shout out all my supporters in the Philippines, man. Nike on the back, booty, cape, very big stripe. Oh, my size? Jordan what? Seven! Oh boy! Dude, the sun is setting on another gorgeous day in these trenches. Man, let's talk about it. What are my top items of the day? NASCAR tees, obviously. Probably the most valuable will be like the Pendleton find and that USA jersey, crazy. Now, uh, if you guys want anything, again, check out my website, thriftheavenvintage.com. If you don't see something, it either is gonna hit the site in the next couple days, so follow the Thrift Heaven Instagram, or it'll be at the pop-up, but I think a lot of this is gonna be hitting the website, because it's been a little minute since I did a giant drop. But yes, I appreciate you guys for dropping the comments, for coming through, showing love, and yeah, uh, Dallas, Texas, man, January 15th. If you guys wanna pull up, definitely be sure to do so. All the info for the pop-ups in the description. What else, man? I think that's just about it, dude. Thanks again for joining me. Sorry you guys have had like two weeks without your boy, but I was ill and not in the way rappers use it. But I'll catch y'all next time. Live the dream. Eat that ice cream. I'm locked. I'm loaded. And I'm out. See ya. Killing these songs, leaving them bloody life. I rooster. And I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to.